Hello everyone, Ape Dame here and we are continuing our playthrough of Banished. Let's get right to it. Go forth my people! Live! Be together! Farm! Man, cabbages and squash. Squash and cabbages. Early summer. It seems like those should be farther along than they are, but maybe that's an illusion. They do grow slowly if you watch them. They, uh, get bigger. Uh, let's see. We are low on iron. But is that because we're building a, a 48? Mm-hmm. Where could I possibly find more iron? There's some right there. Let's, uh, let's get it all out of... Ooh! Sometimes it does that when I drag it to the corner of my window and, and I it bugs out a little bit. I'll try not to do that. Um, do we have any in there? Well, we have all that marked. What about over here? Do we have iron hiding over here at all? Reserve of stone is also low. We don't have anything. Reserve of food is low. Oh no! Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold the phone. Everything pause. Stop. No, 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 no. No, we cannot have the lowness on the food. That. That is simply not allowed. Let's, um... We have, uh, let's up our hunters. Let's, uh, make sure that we're hunting. And hopefully when all the food comes in here, we'll be okay. Is that because we have so many children? Did I... Did I mess that up? Let's find out. Uh, another thing we can do is, now that we've cleared all the way out, is, uh, yes, the reserve of iron is low, yes, the reserve of food is low. I, I see. Let's, uh, let's do put out some fisheries. There's no reason to not fish. Let's put a fishery there and a fishery here. Loud a fishery right there. Great. Do that. Please. Uh, and then we need to go ahead and get some stone as well. Let's look for the stone. We have stone here. We have stone lurking over here. Should we come over here for the stone? We can come around here for stone. Let's put this stone. This little bit of stone. We have all the stone over here as well. Stone! There. That should be <laughs> more than enough resources, yes? Hmm? Good. Other than that, the population's pretty happy. Um, we gathered all those berries and such. Uh, it's because we're trying to build this townhouse here. It's gonna tell us a lot. We need a... Uh, okay, we filled up all that now, so we... Going to build there rapidly here. Go townhouse, go. Uh, we don't need any more of the tools, and we have nine students. That's filling up. This house is filling up. That is doing as well as it could, I suppose. Uh, you know, there's no reason not to go ahead and get more of these. It's your job. So do so, I say. Do not be afraid. And the clothing limit, uh, we don't have any leather for that. Clothing limit is because our hunter's number, we, we upped our our hunters and now we're going to also up our gatherers and we're going to hopefully get, you know, more food going that way. Uh, eventually we're going to have fishermen. We don't have it because it's not done building yet. But uh, things will get done. Things that, you know, I p remain pretty confident that stuff is, is the doing. Stuff is the happening. That's that's my articulate way of saying a thing. We have one builder building away 92, 93, 94, 95. It's going. Good. Good, 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 good. Um, we have no... Alright, okay, so. Here's the cool thing about town. Uh, did we pause? Let's pause. Pause. Uh, now we can see a lot of information about our town, which is uh, it's another way of signing professions. 
it's another way of locating people. We can, you know, take a look at farmers or the field in question, click through things that way. It's just another tool. Um, so that, that part isn't as great. Uh, we have a bunch of information here that we have on this layout over here. So this is pretty much the same stuff, except for now we can see that 60% of our population is educated, 100% are clothed, which is excellent. That means that we've given everybody like a warm winter coat. It, they won't be harmed. We have a lot of babies on the way, which means I need to do more farming. I also really want to have different kind of crops here pretty soon. But we have 18 children, so 35-ish to 18, so one-third of the population is quite young. Um, actually, I don't know, that's, that's more than a third, is it not? Oh, it's getting there. Um, and then we, uh, citizens 53 total, 14 families and 16 homes. So our homes are currently ahead of our families, but only just, and maybe I'll build just one more house um, here pretty soon. And five years in, production-wise, we can see uh, what our, kind of like, lays out the numbers for us. We can see for the whole town, you know, every stockpile, every, anywhere that supplies are. So I don't have to look at individually, I don't have to look at homes. I don't know if this number goes, like if it counts homes or not, but definitely it counts all the barns and the markets and all that stuff. So I can see that we have berries and herbs and iron tools, 99 of them in fact. That's great. Uh, we have 17 hide coats just kind of chilling out in there ready to be grabbed up. Get that hide coat. Good. Um, potatoes and stone and squash and venison these things that we have. We can look at it in terms of a graph. This is my favorite thing. So uh, we can we can look at the population growth. Um, we can see that uh, student population is on the rise because, you know, we have a place to put students. Um, and then we can also see that our children here had a little bit of a boom and they're dipping, but they're going up as well. Our adults are holding steady. Way to go, adults. And overall, our population is increasing. We can also look at it in terms of the five years that we've played the game so far, which is great. So here's our population. Boom! Because we started out with 16 people. And here we have a rise in population. And, you, you know, every time I'm probably building houses right here, this is when they're, I build another house and I build another house. So that's, that's on the rise there. Um, children... Your uh, children are spiking, just going all over the place, but they're generally everything is on the up and up. Uh, we can also look at citizens in terms of health, happiness, education, and clothed. You can see here that our education took a dip because we didn't have a place to educate our people. Everybody starts out educated, and then the babies are not educated, and now the babies are educated, so we'll go back up. And here's when everybody started out clothing, and then we ran out of clothes, and oh, maybe I should build a ta tailor. Oh, there it goes. Jumps back up. And off it goes. So this is always really good to keep track of, see when, how well you did, or just be aware that information. Happiness is doing pretty good. You know, five stars. Happiness. Happy people. Um, let's see, we can also look at food production. Oh, see, no, that's not good. We were over, now we're under, now we're back up, and we're probably going to go back down. That's that's not a great, great graph there. We're not, logs, we're fine on logs. And stone, oh, we built too much. Oh, now we have more. Yeah. <laughs> Same with our iron. Um, our firewood is doing great, has been doing great for a while. Uh, coal, we don't have right now. Tools, holding really steady at 100. Uh, herbs, there we go. This keeps our population healthy, so that's good. And clothing, oh yes, not a supplies there. And last but not least, alcohol. We don't get drunk in our town yet. Uh, we will get drunk in the future, yes. There are no nomads can... Uh, yeah, okay, so now. Here's the here's the other thing the town hall does for you. It brings in immigration. So let's say I have a plague and I lose a lot of people. Well, I can wait around for some nomads. 
Nomads come in, they don't have any education, and frequently they're hungry, and they will go and they'll eat up the, the food supply right away, and they'll grab tools, and they will just be a, a resource drain. But they are people, and they are people that get put to work immediately. So nomads can either really help a town, or they can literally throw your balance off track, and, and you will find yourself in a most precarious, perilous situation where everybody starves. Um, sometimes nomads also bring sickness in with them, so it's always kind of uh, like, do you need the nomads right now, or should you turn them away? You know, that's always a fun question. And right now, oh, we do have peaches, so I should uh, plant some peach trees. Did not know that we had peaches. So this is the other thing I wanted to see. The trade items for the game, all these question marks, all these things that we can collect. That's exciting. Now that we have that information, I should look over here and be like, where do I want my peach trees? Well, I think we should put some peach trees right over here, don't you? Yes, Elaine! Yes, Elaine! We should put some peach trees right over here! Um, let's start an orchard. And orchards, I, I pretty much keep the same size as my farms, which is 7 by 14. There we go. That's one peach tree orchard. Um, because who does not want peaches? Peaches for you, peaches for me. Um, I am also tempted to put another peach tree farm right here. Oh no, peaches for free. No, no, no. Okay, well, what about right here? Just come down here. Oh, 7 by 14? 14 by 7? 7 by 14? I don't like it. I don't like it. I want to start it from here. 7 by 14. 6 by 15? No, 7. There's my other orchard. Those two orchards shall uh, keep the food strong with this game. Alright, and go! Hopefully we have some some children getting ready to be... Um, no, stop that. Stop that. I don't want to do that. I can't really see the age of my population, can I? Overview of my population, how old they are. There's eight students, so all I really kind of know is... Oh, here we go. Oh yes, four new, four new labor. Great. Perfect. Just in time to assign them to orcharding. Yes. Um, peach. And this one shall be peach as well. And it, it might take a season for uh, these to produce. I can't, I can't recall rightly if orchards... Uh, you want, you want to, to no, I want to assign two people to you. Does this not work? We have eight, fourteen, should work out. Of uh, farmers? Let's just hit play. One, two, okay, great, okay. It did it. Everything's fine. So we're gonna plant these trees, and they're gonna be there. And that's gonna be that's gonna be good for us. I feel like the clothing might very well be in trouble of uh, being a little bit on the low side, but clothing also makes good trade goods. So let's up this to a hundred uh, for the day that we actually want to trade with other people. Uh, tool limit. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's. We can maybe hold off on that. Uh, food is low. No, not our food. Not our food. <sighs> I'm trying. Look at all the orchards that I started. And look at all the the hunters and such that I assigned. This is not good enough for you. Taylor 101 teacher, yes, well you you might as well get more of these because Because I say if you're doing nothing else then you should be plucking more flowers out of the ground for forever and ever. Alright. <laughs> okay, so we have another person who has grown up, which is good for us. I guess I'm gonna hold off on houses. I'm going to I'm an adult and is working as okay, so we have a couple more laborers. These people are gonna become fishermen pretty much with a quickness. With a quickness, we're gonna have some fishermen. 
Um, fishermen, fishermen. I guess first they can become builders. And then over here, I will build. I will, I will build. I will build a storage barn. Over here by the fishermen. Who will. We will simply put their food in the storage barn once it's once it's built. Um, and now let us uh, take our builders down to one, and our fishermen up to two. I demand fishes immediately. Yeah, okay, good. Okay, good. One, one for each hut. Fish for me, please. Well, I think this is pretty good advancement for this part, and I hope that you enjoyed my ramblings and the progress we have on Banish, and I will see you in the next part. Goodbye for now.